So this Dragon Ball Super chapter drops something interesting on us. Uh, chapter 68. So, now Goku's training with Whis. Beerus and Vegeta are having a conversation. Um, and Beerus is saying, you're not going to try to master it too. He's referring to Ultra Instinct. And Vegeta tells him, it doesn't suit me. And Beerus is smiling. He says, don't think so? Vegeta says, he said this before, he's saying it again. I also passed Kakarot in another way. And Beerus is like, oh yeah? It might be possible, but that's up to you to do. Or up to you. Because Ultra Instinct ain't the only technique of the gods. And Vegeta's surprised. He says, what? That's exactly what I said. What? <laughs> that's what the, that's the angels, that's just the angel's specialty. Or did you really think that us gods of destructions would run around using a move where you got to keep your heart all calm and tranquil? And Vegeta's like, then what do you use? Tell me the technique you gods of destructions use. I'll pass. Training people ain't in my job description. Anyway, I'm going to exercise to wake myself up. If you see anything you want to... If you see anything you want, feel free to steal it. So he's offering him to watch. So here's, here's the thing, though. Basically, while Goku is using Ultra Instinct, Vegeta is going to use a different force of power um, to his Ultra Instinct. So we're fine. Goku and Vegeta already separated at the end of the term in a power arc. Um, Goku awakened Ultra Instinct, and Vegeta reached Super Saiyan Blue Evolved. This was actually something interesting. Uh... Vegeta continued on with the Super Saiyan God transformations. He ascended to a level Goku hasn't awakened while Goku went a different route. He decided to learn Ultra Instinct. So, um, this is interesting. And a lot of people think since, because of this chapter, Goku's going to the route of the angels and Vegeta's going to the route of the gods. They think Vegeta might become a god of destruction or awaken his god of destruction transformation. I sort of doubt that. Here's why. Vegeta asked, what does he use? Vegeta's seen Hakai use countless times. He, like, he's seen, in Battle of Gods, when Beerus pulled up to Earth, he's seen his energy of destruction. Um, at the training with Whis, he, 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 he's seen it a couple of times. And at that point, after training with Whis, he's at the descent it too. So he knows the properties of it. He knows what it's capable of. Um, he's seen Topo use it. He fought against them. So Vegeta knows what... The God of Destruction's power is. And yet right here, he's asking Beerus what he uses. Is there a different power that Beerus has that we don't know about that gods use? A technique sort of like Ultra Instinct that's different, that has different properties? So maybe something more aggressive. Who knows? Um, on a surface level, people would say it's God of Destruction key. But I'm hoping it's something deeper. Something different that's unseen. You know what I mean? Something that we haven't heard about. They're going to start building up to it now, um, hopefully. But who knows? I honestly can't tell. Um, the most logical uh, conclusion people would come up with is that he's going to be using Hakaishin Aura. But I just wanted to be something special. You know what I mean? Something unique. Something that we haven't seen before. That's something only Vegeta can use. Because as, as they said before, it looks like Ultra Instinct. It isn't, an an it isn't specifically... Um, an angel technique. Because Goku isn't an angel, yet he's tapping into it. But it seems that uh, he's, he's, he's tapping into the realm of the angels themselves, though. It just seems that way. This is just the beginning. Just like a leak into their, their little secrets. That being Ultra Instinct. An ability that any mortal can use. Um, of course, it's almost impossible without the right training. And Goku has that training, and he's gotten the hang of it. So he's he's entered a new realm. Well, Vegeta now it's Vegeta's turn. Um, I just hope it's something pretty fucking amazing. It's going to be a god form or some sort of god technique. I hope. So Vegeta, every time Vegeta gets a new technique, he he gets shot on. We saw what happened with the Force Spirit Fission. He got this cool new technique and he still got shot on. So I mean, I'm starting to wonder if this new transformation, quote unquote, is even gonna is even gonna matter at the end, bro. He's probably just going to get shot on again. The Ultra Instinct's going to have to pull up. But you know what else might happen? Fusion might be something a bit more than just a boost in power. Whatever Vegeta gets, imagine him merging that with Ultra Instinct. What kind of monster are they going to become? Vegito and Gogeta are just going to become fucking... 
<laughs> Watch this. What the fuck, bro? They're already broken. Oh, my God. God damn, bro. There's no telling what the fuck is going to happen. That's actually kind of scary. Um, Let's just hope they lay away from from uh, from Fusion for a while because they've been overusing it. And uh, next time Fusion pulls up, they need to pull up with something new. That's my thoughts. What do you guys think Vegeta is going to awaken? Do you think it's just going to be Hakai energy? Or is there something a bit more deeper? Let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, that's what I think, guys. They gave you my opinion. Let me know, bro, because this is crazy. So if you guys liked, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video. Peace.